and I went to Amanda's house every day after school. And the reason for this is my mother was home and she was paying attention. But at Amanda's house, her mother was too busy running her bar mitzvah centerpiece making business out of the garage <laughs> to pay any attention to what we were doing. And we usually did one of two things, which was one, we would work on our dance routine to Shaka Khan's I Feel For You <laughs> in the unitards, which was very suggestive, like gyrating dancing. And our other thing was that we worked on our demo. We were an amateur pop duo called the Jersey Girls, because we were from New Jersey and girls. And uh, <laughs> we wrote songs and recorded them in her bedroom on our Fisher Price tape recorder. And <laughs> All of the songs also had something vaguely sexual going on in them, but we didn't know what they meant. Like one of the song's lyrics was, I want you inside of me, but we didn't know <laughs> what we were singing. Um, so we did that every day after school. And one day we got a little bored of this routine around sixth grade, around age 12, and Amanda and I were watching TV, and a commercial came on for a phone dating service, which was the precursor to internet dating. And Amanda turns to me and goes, Margo, you should set up a phone dating profile. Let's do it. You know, you're the actress in the group, you're the talent. And I was like, damn straight, I'm the talent. <laughs> I have been waiting for you to notice <laughs> that you are the Garfunkel to my Simon. Finally, somebody's noticing me. So I'm like, okay, I'll set up a phone profile, which is the equivalent of uh, you know, an internet dating profile. So we write a script of what my uh, profile is going to be. And I have to say, uh, before I repeat that script, which I have memorized for you tonight, uh, before I tell you exactly what my phone profile was, I need you guys to know this. I've had a wonderful life. I've had great career accomplishments. I've been on television. I've toured the world. I perform in front of a lot of people. To this day, this performance of my audio profile on the dating service is the greatest performance of my life. <laughs> I mean it. So we are on the phone and we set it up and this is what I said. And I used a voice I learned from a very awkward viewing of the movie Octopussy with my parents. <laughs> And this is what I said. I said, hi, I'm Margot. I'm five foot six, weigh 125 pounds, have long blonde hair, blue eyes, and freckles. I'm an aspiring recording artist currently working on my demo. <laughs> on the weekends, I like to dance. My favorite song is currently Shaka Khan's I Feel For You. <laughs> so if you feel for me, leave me a message. And, <laughs> and what was great about it is there was not one lie in that. I just left out the fact that I was 12, but everything else was true. So I leave this in the profile. And then we go on and listen to men's profiles so we can leave my profile in their mailbox, voice mailbox. And we listened to about a dozen or so profiles. We specified the ages of men between 25 and 35 because I was 12 and that made sense. <laughs> And I remember one guy, Paul's profile very, very vividly, and this is what it said. It said, hi, my name's Paul. I'm a 30-year-old bank teller who loves to go to the beach on the weekends. I'm five feet tall, so if you think good things come in small packages, leave me a message. So I left Paul a message. <laughs> number one, because I appreciate good copy, and it was pretty good. But number two, Paul, was a tiny grown-up, and I was a giant child. And I just felt like somehow, somewhere, the two of us could meet in the middle and for one moment feel normal. <laughs> 